Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fantastic day today, and if you're not, get ready for some fantastic news regarding the first trailer for Jurassic World Dominion. Don't forget to subscribe though, as our target is to reach 130,000 subscribers before Jurassic World Dominion comes out. But moving on to more important matters, the Jurassic World Dominion trailer. At the time of recording, there's roughly 5 months to go until this double trilogy ender arrives at cinemas but we're still yet to have a trailer regarding this new movie. Its predecessors, Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom and Jurassic World, both had trailers between the last week of November and the early days of December. Unfortunately, we haven't had this pattern repeat for the third Jurassic World movie. But why is that? Well, ladies and gentlemen, I believe I've come up with a theory as to when to expect the Jurassic World Dominion trailer. Firstly, if we take a look at Universal Mexico's YouTube channel, and we pan over to the Jurassic World Dominion playlist, we can quite clearly see there is only one video currently public in that playlist, and that is the prologue we got way back in June of 2021, and then later released online in November of 2021. But some eagle-eyed viewers will notice that the playlist states there are two videos in this playlist, with one of them being private. Now, before we jump to any conclusion, it could very well just be the 4K version of the prologue, just like the official Jurassic World channel posted. But it also intrigues me as the playlist was last updated on December 23rd, 2021, just before Christmas. Which, if you ask me, is a little late to choose to upload the 4K quality of the prologue. So, being the speculative channel that we are, I immediately started to study the probability of this being the Jurassic World Dominion trailer. Now, it does make sense for it to be the Dominion trailer. As we've seen in the past, the Camp Cretaceous playlist does something rather similar within the week preparing for release date of a new season. They tend to private and schedule videos whilst adding them to the playlist, giving us an indication that we can expect a video to come just before the full season releases. Usually these are clips. For season 4 I speculated the same thing, and we got the Mosasaurus clip, or clips shall I say, we also got a hologram clip, and we got T-Rex fighting clip, which were three clips out of the four released just before the full season came to Netflix. So there's a good chance that Universal Mexico are doing the same thing here. Not only that, but if my predictive release date for Jurassic World Dominion's trailer is correct, it's also within a good time frame for it to be the finalised trailer of Jurassic World Dominion. So in my opinion, I'm about 70% certain that this hidden video could be the Jurassic World Dominion trailer, but who knows, only time will tell. But now, as I've said, I've figured out the possible and most likely release date for Jurassic World Dominion's first trailer. I know earlier I said that it sadly doesn't follow a pattern similar to what we got for Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom's first trailers, but technically it does in a certain way. As we know, Jurassic World Dominion's first trailer released on November 25th, 2014, with a short teaser two days prior on the 23rd. This trailer was also first shown during a Thanksgiving American football game and then almost immediately published online for millions of others to watch. So, what's the next biggest American football game taking place relatively soon? That's right, the Super Bowl, which is arguably one of the biggest American sporting events. So, theoretically speaking, what if on Sunday the 13th of February, the day the Super Bowl is on, we do actually end up getting a Jurassic World Dominion trailer. And two days prior, on Friday the 11th of February, we are teased of a trailer coming on the Sunday. It's around 20 seconds, and it says, first trailer this Sunday during the Super Bowl. That way, Jurassic World gets its promotion during a major sporting event, and then minutes later it is published online onto YouTube for millions of others to watch. And with less than four months until release at that time, it makes a perfect amount of sense for it to be within the good time frame for a first trailer to pop up. I don't know about you guys, but this all adds up quite well within my head. Friday the 11th of February, we'll have a few shots of the trailer teased, and then it says full trailer this Sunday at the Super Bowl. And then we get an online full trailer posted on Sunday the 13th of February. It sounds highly plausible in my opinion. That way, the Super Bowl gets its promotion via a major movie coming out in 2022, and loads of people will be eager to try to watch the Super Bowl just to see this trailer, and then also people who don't know about Jurassic World Dominion all of a sudden now know about Jurassic World Dominion because they saw its trailer at the Super Bowl. So theoretically speaking, it kind of goes both ways. There's promotion for the Super Bowl by Jurassic World, there's promotion for Jurassic World by the Super Bowl. Well, that's just my theory. 
Either way, I guarantee we are very close to seeing a first trailer for Jurassic World Dominion very, very soon. I doubt they'll keep it until March, simply because I suspect that will be the release date and the month we'll get our first trailer for Camp Cretaceous Season 5. But it does intrigue me, let's say this release date of the first trailer is on February 13th. This gives less than 4 months until the release of Jurassic World Dominion. So does that mean we are going to get a trailer every single month up to the lead up for Jurassic World Dominion or are we only going to get one or two trailers? Usually with Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom we did actually get three trailers but this is because they first released at the end of November or the start of December so there's plenty of time to the month of June. But if this first trailer releases on the 13th of February it's quite obvious that if they do continue with the three trailer sequence that's going to be a trailer every single month until the month of release. So personally speaking, I don't think we're going to get three trailers and I think that's because they learned from their mistakes in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. They edited those trailers already and they didn't really realise it gave away quite a lot about the movie unfortunately. So I believe that they're going back on that and realising what they've done wrong with Fallen Kingdom and instead approaching it in Jurassic World Dominion a different way. Instead of having three trailers, we may just only get the one, we might even just get the two. Either way, I guarantee we will have a teaser to say that we'll get a Jurassic World Dominion trailer soon. And within that trailer, we'll have about 5 to 20 seconds of footage saying that you'll see the full trailer on a Sunday or something. Anyways, guys and girls, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really do appreciate all of the mass support on my channel recently. It absolutely warms my heart knowing that you guys come back each and every day just to listen to my dumbass talk about the Jurassic franchise and even play some Jurassic World games. I'm extremely thankful for that. If you haven't yet done so, do consider subscribing to the channel and like the video if you have enjoyed. Share this around and spread the word about the trailer coming soon and let me know what you think about this theory in the comments below. But in the meantime, stay safe out there and I can't wait to see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Hello, hi, you, did you enjoy the video? Just a little reminder to press that like button and also subscribe. I just want to thank my Patreons for this month on screen right here as giving me that little extra support really does go a long way. But anyways, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day.